Today we're going to talk about the megometer, its uses and uh, versatility. Uh, today we're going to work with the M500, Suckos M500. It's a very simple device to use. It has a range of 20 to 1000 mega ohms. The nice thing about it is it's very simple. One button does it all. What you want to do is you want to give yourself a good ground and then you want to connect to your wire leads here. This particular unit is good, as you can see here. This particular unit is bad, as indicated here. It's a very simple use, useful tool. Uh, it can be used on air conditioning, it can be used on heating, any kind of motor that you have, any kind of wire that you have that you need to test. It'll work out in many, many ways. It's good for the beginning service tech to the seasoned service tech. So the insulation value is what a megometer measures. All of this in here, this plastic, get overheated and start to wear thin, and that's where we have a problem with the uh, voltage straying across and, and, and grounding out and shorting out uh, this particular compressor. Now we've had a lot of questions and concerns about the M500 testing scroll compressors. Uh, the most important thing you can do is to make the connections right at the compressor itself and not at the lead wires that come off of it. This particular one is a good compressor, as indicated here. This particular one here is a bad compressor, as indicated here. The most important part of your megometer are the connections. You want to make sure that you have a good ground. So you want to make sure it's a good ground to the chassis of the uh, unit that you're testing good to your wire lead. This particular unit right here is bad as you can see. This particular unit here is a good motor as indicated there. That's it for today. Thank you for making Subco the right choice. Uh, for more tech tips, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Facebook page, or go to www.succo.com if you have any questions. Now put this knowledge to good use.